Dear friends, this is Dr. Kirti Seth and in this video, we are going to discuss about ant colony optimization. As the team suggests, ant colony optimization is a bio-inspired optimization algorithm which is based upon the behavior of ants. Ants are the species found in nature and we always notice the one behavior of ants that whenever they move, whenever they find some food source anywhere on the ground and within the second, uh, if there is only one ant, within the second more than 10, 100, 1000 ants, ants can be collected. Then how does it happen? Is it a special behavior of ants? Yes, it is a special behavior of ants and which is noticed by some scientists and on the basis of this behavior that how they collect con collected with each other, how they gathered, gathered on the food source, on this behavior the ant colony optimization algorithm has been developed. This algorithm has been developed by Marco Darigo in early 1990s during his PhD thesis. So ants have some special quality. If we talk about real ants, they have the four things. First one is they have very limited individual capabilities. Individually, they almost cannot do anything. They have very limited individual cap capability. As you can see that they are very small species. So they cannot do anything individually. Rudimentary sites. Most of the ants cannot see at all or they have very limited visionary capabilities or uh, otherwise they cannot see. Limited video and auditory cap communication. They cannot call, they cannot uh, talk and they cannot listen, they cannot see. Not capable of achieving complex tasks on their own. They cannot uh, uh, achieve a complex task with their own. But in groups, they can achieve a lot. Capable of impressive groups result. J for example, nest building and defense if, if they work in group they can build the nest nest temperature regulation forming bridges cooperatively carry large items sorting brood and food items foraging for food food sources foraging means when they search for food sources together so ant colony optimization algorithm inspired by this behavior of ants that is known as foraging for food resources. So today we are going to discuss ant colony optimization algorithm. So first thing is ACO is based on stigmergy and foraging for food source. So foraging we know when some swamps collectively search for their food. So this behavior is known as foraging. So this is this behavior of ants when they go in the when they search for their foods collectively this behavior is known as food foraging now stigmergy is individual ants leave markers or message as i told you that they have very limited visionary or audio capability then how they tell each other how they tell to other ants that this is uh, the uh, some at some place they, they find some food source or they find some food at the place or in other words tech, in more technical way you can say how, what is the medium of their communication so this is fine that each ant when they move from one part to another part they lay down a chemical substance and that substance is known as pheromone. So in by laying down this substance the individual ant leave the markers. These don't solve the problem in themselves. These markers cannot do but they affect other individual in a way that helps them to solve the problem. So by the smell of this pheromone, other ants can find out that they, this is the way, this is the part to go for the food source. As uh, I'll tell you that this is how uh, ants find the shortest path. So this is the basic idea behind ant colony optimization algorithm. I'll, already I told you that it is developed by Marco Dorigo in 1991 during his PhD thesis. So in this algorithm developed by uh, Marco da uh, Darico, he was an Italian scientist and he developed this algorithm. In this algorithm, ants are the agent. So they are slightly different than the real ants. So uh, what is the behavior? It is like when you implement this algorithm, ants will behave like a data structure. And uh, the uh, what are the ant, ant can do? They move along between nodes in a graph. So if we talk about a graph, they can move from one node to another node. They choose where to go based upon the pheromone strength and maybe 
you can introduce some more things also in your designed algorithm but uh, based on the pheromone strength form choose the ants choose that where to go and ants path represents a specific candidate solution when ant go from source to destination for every ant path of every ant is represented as a candidate solution when an ant has finished a solution pheromone is laid down on its path according to the quality of solution this pheromone trail affect the behavior of another ants by stigmergy so pheromone tra trail individual what is pheromone trails individual ants lay pheromone trail while traveling from nest to the nest or possibly in both direction the pheromone trail gradually evaporates over time but pheromone trail strength accumulate with multiple ants using paths so it means if uh, every ant when go from so nest to the food source or coming back they lay down the chemical uh, pheromone this pheromone actually evaporates as the time passes but the path which uh, followed by most of the ants that will have more pheromone so evaporation will take more time so it means the path which has more pheromone has the shortest path so ACU concept says basically ants are blind they navigate from nest to food source shortest path is path is discovered by the pheromone trail each ant moves at random from starting point to the source they can move, they can go in any direction pheromone is deposited uh, on the path by every ant more pheromone on path increase probability of being followed so this is a diagram by this diagram i try to explain that how ant colony works so in the first there is a path between food and nest so here you can see that there is a single path between food and nest and every ant is going from food to nest and coming back from nest to food then in the second the path is obstructed by an object so we put an object between this path so then uh, also ant uh, each ant is free to move uh, go to any path so they are following the uh, some ants are following the upper path and some ants are following the lower path but as three new path is established for new path is established now okay but as the time passes because of the pheromone because this is the shortest path so evaporation uh, like uh, more ants will go there and if more pheromone will be laid down and evaporation will take uh, some time so according to uh, means like uh, that's why this path will have the more ants and their hence this path will be recognized as the shortest path so aco ant colony optimization has so many algorithm and uh, uh, the most basic algorithm of aco is ant colony system as in short we can say as it's starting node selected at random path selected at random based on the amount of trail ant reaches next node select next path then continue until reaches starting node finish tour is a solution so ant colony system complete a tour it is analyzed for optimality trail uh, so whenever ants complete the paths so the path which has the uh, maximum number of pheromone will uh, be known as the shortest path and every time new cycle is performed and it is repeated until most as, uh, of the ants are selected the same cycle so this is a pseudo code of algorithm initialize trail do while stopping criteria is not satisfied it means you have to put it in a loop do until each ant is complete in a loop after that all ants should complete in a loop local trail update trail update means you have to update about pheromones analyze the tour and then global trail update once you analyze that most of the ants are following the same path so these are the formulas for ant colony optimization algorithms delta tau ijk delta tau ijk is the amount of pheromone deposited by k is the ant kth ant on the edge edge connecting node i to j so it will be if uh, if ant is not traveling to the edge ij then it will be zero definitely if k th ant travels on the edge ij then it will be 1 upon lk and what is lk lk is the length of the path traveled by ant k how much distance it travel why because we have uh, to put the why we write 1 upon lk because we have to take a pheromone as at the most so making pheromone more we have to divide it with with the length so for the longest length pheromone will be lowest for the shortest length pheromone will be more so 
now this is delta tau ijk then what is tau ijk tau ijk is summation of k is equal to 1 to m m is the total number of aunts so how we will get the tau ijk total number of aunts delta tau ijk this is without vaporization in this formula we did not consider that pheromone will evaporates so if you have to consider the evaporation also then 1 minus rho tau ijk tau ij plus summation of k is equal to 1 to m delta tau ijk so what is rho rho is the uh, rho is depends upon the problem and it is known as evaporation parameter or rate of evaporation so normally we put it in between 0 to 1 if we want that complete uh, the evaporation should be done or if you do not want to take evaporation into consideration then you can put value of rho is equal to 1 so now probability of choosing how and choose uh, the edge I connecting i and j probability of choosing p i j is equal to tau i j alpha eta i j to the power beta summation of tau i j alpha eta of i j beta. Now you know that what is tau i j tau i j is a pheromone deposited and uh, to the complete path and then eta i j eta is the quality of i j edge on the graph. So, you can if you want only work with the pheromone then you can uh, eliminate the eta it depends upon us that if we want to put eta we can put otherwise not and alpha and beta are the algorithm specific parameters and normally the value of alpha and beta are put between 0 to 1 eta can be removed if we want to make a decision on only on the pheromone level. And applications of ant colony uh, optimizations are routing problem. You can put it if you want to optimize the route. You can put it for routing uh, problems, urban transportation systems, scheduling problem, all kind, kind of scheduling problem. Besides this, in software engineering also nowadays, many researchers are using ant colony optimization just to uh, optimize any software metrics for example maintainability, software reliability, quality assurance for everything they are using ant colony optimization. These are the benefits and drawback for ant colony optimization. It can be benefit is it can be used in dynamic application means every time see this ant colony optimization is an idea. You can design your parameters like alpha, beta, rho, tau, you have to put eta or not, you have to take vaporization into consideration or not. You can put everything according to your uh, problem. So, it is a problem specific that is why we can write it for dynamic application. Theoretical analysis is a little bit difficult because research is experimental rather than theoretical. Convergence is guaranteed, it will definitely give you a solution but time to convergence is uncertain. When, when you will run it first time, it, time to convergence will be different than the second time. Trade off in evaluating convergence focus is on the quality solution, not the time. So, coding is somewhat complicated, not straightforward because it is a complex. So, pheromone, you have to take consideration local update, global update, that pheromone trail. So, coding is somewhat complicated. And these are the ongoing modification on ant colony optimization like uh, we, you can increase the number of obstacles, you can adding to add the time constant because still now what we did, we are not taking time uh, as a constant because we say that we are focusing on the quality of solution not the time. Playing around with evaporation rate dif for different different for the same problem you can put different different evaporation rate varying importance of pheromone like I say you can you can eliminate eta or you can eliminate rho and then you can find the solution. So, these are the ongoing modifications uh, and the current research areas in the field of ant colony optimization. So, in this video we discussed about ant colony optimization. I tried to give you the basic idea behind ant colony optimization. How does this optimization work? This is still now I feel that this is the best, best and first bio inspired optimization techniques. I came through this and I find it very good. Now, so many modifications had been done for this algorithm, but it is still research scope, it still has the research scopes and it is the best algorithm in among all the nature inspired algorithms. So, in next video, we will come with some other algorithm. Thank you.